Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Spyro the Dragon. I'm Pwnshop135, and in the last episode, we went through Ice Cavern and died a stupid amount of times. Uh, an unnecessary amount of times, I should add. And we confronted the boss of Peacekeepers, Dr. Shemp. In this episode, we're going to go through Night Flight. Now, Night Flight is a new level type where it's basically an obstacle course. You have to beat this level as fast as possible and in one run. So, start with rings, treasure chests. Arches. Ooh, almost, almost landed. I didn't. I want to land. Anyway, uh, next is arches. Ooh, almost hit the water. Right. And then lanterns. Let's see if I can get this in one go. Normally, uh, botch it up. Oh, yes, baby. One try. Oh. Well, Spyro was supposed to fly up into the sky with the icons all circling around it, but. Well, I glitched. Glitched into the thing, so it ended it early. Anyway, yep. There we go. Sure, why not? This time, you can do it however you want, with absolutely no uh, time limit. Just gotta compete to see if you get get a better score. As a kid, I used I used to be terrible at doing th this, so I used to defer the controller to my sister. All three games, I should add. Right. Oh, I, I don't expect to get it to score a good time. I just want to get that animation of Spyro soaring to the skies. And see, there we go. We passed the uh, minute 16 mark. So, go through these rings. And bingo. That's what I wanted to see. Alright. Nope. Saying no automatically takes you back to the home world. Right now, let's go see the balloonist. I have to remember, I gave him a gruff military voice. <clears throat> nice job, Spyro. One day you might become a real dragon. Hop aboard the Magic Crafters for the Magic Crafters world if you're ready. Tan Hood. Let's go to Magic Crafters. Right here we are in Magic Crafters with one of my favorite enemies. Anyway, we got an egg thief right off the bat, and we beat him right off the bat. Right, we 
actually sparks. Pick that up. Gee willikers. Anyway, we want to come over here for three gems. Anyway, this is one of my favorite enemies because when you hit him, <laughs> he just says, ow. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this. Rescued Cosmos. Welcome to Magic Crafters. I want you to release the dragons, reclaim our treasure, and recover the eggs from those pesky blue thieves. Alright, so now that we're in Magic Crafters, they're going to start having more mystical sounding names. Anyway. Bingo! All right, when we come out here, we're going to get these treasure chests. And these guys in the green are jerks. Because they're just going to keep raising the topiary so we can't get to them. And then they're going to laugh at us. That's all right. Every dog has his day. See if I can line this up perfectly. Bingo! Alright, let me see if I can get a two for one hit on this one. Fingers crossed. Oh, just one. I was going to say it was Blamo. And we have Alpine Ridge as our first new world. Got them guys. Alright. We have another egg thief. Oh, he goes at a goofy ass pattern I got tired of chasing him all right anyway want to come down here real quick this guy thinks he's so clever I'm um, excuse you Anyway, take him out. Anyway, um, we have new enemy, uh, new fodder. These ugly looking sheep. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep ragging on these, these ugly fodder creatures. And there's, oh god, high caves. Oh, you'll find more about the high caves later. Anyway. Talk to this dragon, Xantor. When you see arrows like these, you can charge along with them to begin a supercharge. Supercharge? Excellent. Go ahead, try it. Yep, exactly as he says. Supercharge. So we're going to use this. Yeah, that, that's the whole reason why that's... Well, one of the reasons why there, so you can get past that barricade before he uh, pops it up. Anyway, we're gonna take this guy out with a flying head smash. All right, got him. Anyway, here's um, crystal flight and a dragon. Boldar. This portal leads to a special place. Where you can learn to fly. I remember when I was a young dragon, turning my wings. Learn to fly. Got it. All right. Take him out. Here we have storm wizards. Oof. Yeah, at least this guy has common sense to freak out when he sees us. Yeah, um, those are hedge mages. I don't know, at this point I'm just pulling names out my butt. Anyway, um...
Uh, I guess the, the guys that go out with their little nerdy voice are metal shamans. Alright, anyway. Got a key, and we have Wizard Peak. It's our next place. This key does not unlock this strong box. We'll figure out a way to take that out in a little bit. Take this guy out. Oh! Oh wow, he's in the zone. Too bad he's owned. Anyway. Uh, get over here. I know I called you ugly, but get over here. You know who else is ugly? Nasty Nork's ugly. Them frogs. <laughs> they ugly. Anyway, uh, here we have Blowhard. And there's the Balloonist. Now, we can go ahead and skip town on Magic Crafters because you can gain access to the next world if you have five eggs. We're not going to do that. Anyway, since we got a key, we're going to come up here and we're going to glide all the way over here. Ooh, that was almost ugly. For a free life and a strong chest. Oops, all grains. Alright. So next we're going to come to the supercharge ramp. And blammo! 25 cent piece. Or 25 gem. Not too shabby. Alright, got both eggs. 300 and three dragons. Alright, that's going to do it for this episode of Spyro the Dragon. In the next episode, we're going to take on the first two levels of Magic Crafters. See you guys next time.